Hold on, I'm recording. All right, hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Invasion channel. Let's head around back to our mine this time where we can see what we've added. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Someone got rid of our pressure plates. There's no way I can get in here and there's no way that I have a redstone torch in my inventory, am I right? There's got to be another way in. Hmm. Well, seeing as I made this, I know exactly the other way in. If we just go on over here and break this block, you can see that opens right up. And whoa! Whoa! How did that happen? Whoa! I need to try that again. Holy crap. Right, so today we're going to be looking at this hidden stone generating bud kind of thing. Um, as you can see when we break this middle block, it gives us redstone output and it regenerates a new piece of stone. It was amazing to me that on YouTube there were no really small designs and all of them were pretty impractical. One common problem we noticed with those other designs is that it kept the lava. And if you want to make this thing hidden, which of course you do, um, hearing that lava in the wall will be a dead giveaway. But as you can see, there's no lava when it's not running. There's only lava that's dispensed when it needs to create a new block. What's also cool about this is that in survival, you're always going to have a pickaxe in your hand. Um, so it's always really easy to activate. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start off with a 4x5 platform right here. Um, this block right here is the block that you're going to break. And it's the block that's going to be regenerated. So this block is going to be made of stone. We're going to come back here and we're going to place a sticky piston right there. And then we're going to place another one facing back going the other way. Place two blocks here, both with redstone torches on them, and then place a block in front of this sticky piston right here. Make a redstone line that's three long, going across like so. That will go up into a block with a redstone torch on top. Then you're going to come around to the inside, place a dispenser right here, and in it, uh, you're going to eventually place your lava, but I wouldn't do that yet, just to save your redstone wiring. Coming around to the back, we're going to place a redstone repeater right here on three ticks. That's going to go up into a block with a redstone torch on top and then a block above that torch. Place a sticky piston next to that block facing downwards and give it a block of redstone. Then going back around to the inside, we're going to place a half slab right there with redstone on top. And then right here, we're going to place a block. Go ahead and give it a lever and then power it so that this dot is powered. Next to this dot of redstone on top of this piston, we're going to place a block and then we're done. Now we're going to place a bunch of blocks that are going to prevent our water and lava from just spilling everywhere. So just follow my lead. We're going to place a block here, 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 and here. As well as blocks coming around like this. And then block here and block here. Not all these are necessary, but I just want to be a little bit careful, you know. Then finally we can come up here. Uh, go ahead down there above that glass block. It doesn't have to be glass. You can go ahead and place your water bucket. Then inside this dispenser, we're going to place our lava. Now we can come around to the front. Go ahead and break that block. And it's going to generate our first stone block. Then from now on, when we break this stone block, it's going to retract. And it's going to create a new one just for us. Now as far as taking an output out of this thing, I'd recommend taking it from when this redstone block comes down. So, when it comes down, it'll power that redstone, and you can lead that wherever you want. As you can see, it's on, and now it's off. Working just like a button. Alright, so that's it for today. This is a short one, but we've been working on some pretty big builds. Also, who likes the month of March? No one likes the month of March. This has been the Redstone Innovation Channel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff, and we'll see you guys next time.